Wow, dude. You talk about reality check, man. I needed one. We spent all day doing yard work, mowing lawn, picking up leaves that were still here from the winter. <laughs> I hate picking up leaves, but I love Leanne and I'll do what needs to be done. But I probably did about four or five hours of yard work and I am tapped. That is pathetic. It really is. And I'm not looking for pity here. It's just, it's a personal inventory moment where I stop and say, shit, I have really let things go. And what will really let me know that is tomorrow and Monday when I'll have some soreness. It's just one of those, I already know I've got issues. I mean, I know I'm overweight and out of shape and not doing physical activity. I mean, I love sports. I always said I love playing sports more than watching sports. I always stood on that corner. So it's nice to have their reality check. The question is, will it just be one day off thing? Like, hey, well, I got a reality check. I'm going to do something about it. Or will I just get back to business and keep making the same mistakes or really the same decisions? Because... You know, I was talking with my guy earlier, Taylor Bob, who's awesome. Love you, Taylor B. And we learn how to live life through our formative years, our adolescent years. This is psychology. This is biology. It's scientific stuff that we know. You learn how to live life and absorb it all through your adolescence, right? You're a sponge. But then you get older, and I'm looking back now, and I'm like, shit, I'm still living life the way I learned how to do it when I was about as dumb as I ever was. I mean, there is nobody. This isn't about generations or anybody else. It's not about today's kids. I'll talk about myself. When I was 17, 18, 16, 15, 19, I was an idiot. I was so clueless. Total morons. Teenagers and young adults are fools because you don't know any better until you get there. It's a cliche of all cliches and everybody's parents and grandparents tells them that, but they don't believe it until they get there. So I'm still living life like I did learned how to live it when I was younger. That's not a good thing. 